Hello people, I'm Jabby Kawei. This is the intro before the intro because we didn't realize there was a teaser and a trailer. And so what you're about to see is our reaction to the teaser. Please listen to the conversation because I think it's a good conversation. Yeah, it really was. And then you'll see our trailer reaction that will follow right after. Hello people, I am Jabby Kawei, joined by Natasha Martinez. Hello. And we're gonna look at Adai. <laughs> Adai. What do you think it is? Uh, I would say Adai. Adai. This is a Tamil official teaser starring Amala Paul. It's directed by Rathna Kumar and the music is by Pradeep Kumar Orka. It's from V Studios and it's in 4K. Hey. So let's check this out. Let's do it. <laughs> That's terrible. Hmm. Interesting. That's a great shot. Yeah. Oh lord. Whoa, that is a dope shot. I just got the chills. That's such a cool shot. I've never seen that before. Whoa. I thought she was naked for a second. Is she naked? She's yeah, she's naked. totally okay. naked. Why is she naked? What? Why are you naked, lady? The dress. What an ironic name. <laughs> um, Where'd your dress go? That was it? Yeah. Oh my god, that was awesome. Yeah. That was a great trailer. Yeah. Oh. It, it, well, it certainly teases Oh, a teaser you. trailer. Yeah, a Is teaser it a teaser? Yeah, yeah, it's a teaser. teaser. Yeah. Wow. Okay, I have never been so, like, just hooked right off the bat. Okay. Just with the story of, like, hearing the mom be like, uh, like, my daughter's missing, I haven't spoken to her. Of course, everyone's just looking up at the sky and you're like, what's going on? You see all these pigeons and then you see blood and you're just like, what? And yeah, that shot where you see the people's reflection in the blood and you don't know if that's her blood, like whose blood is that? And why is she naked? Right. <laughs> it was that perfect nugget of like, I need to see more. I'm really excited by this trailer. It certainly uh, elicits a lot of questions. Everything you just said, what, what, who, what, where? Now, yeah. this is typical of Tamil and Telugu uh, trailers in my experience where they don't really make clear what is happening because you have to pay the money so you can go watch the but movie. But I love that because so it's often yeah. people just give it to you yeah, right away. Yeah, exactly. Now, there are 14,000 downvotes and I'm very curious why uh, someone yeah. would downvote this because to me, this is such a compelling trailer. I've seen this a lot in Indian films, which is you have that typical asshole cop Mm -hmm. who's kind of blaming you. You go to the cop because you need help and they're like, well, you should have done this. And they start reprimanding you like a parent. Yeah. That happens all the time. And it's so frustrating every time you see it in the films. I wish it wouldn't happen, <laughs> but like you see it and it's like, I immediately feel for the woman. Cause she's like, no, totally. I, I, I was in my daughter. You know, she was drunk the last time I spoke to her. And there was this quote at the top. That was, yes, that was an interesting quote. Freedom is what you do with what's been done to you. Jean-Paul Sartre, did he write, um, What's it called? There was a book in the Matrix called Simulacra Simulation by Sean Paul Baudrillard. That's not Baudrillard. Mm -hmm. It's still a Sean Paul. It's still a Sean Paul. It's still a Frenchie. Okay. <laughs> <O -B -B. laughs> exactly. Yeah, but that's an interesting quote too. And I wonder what's the correlation of the quote to the story? I guess it's like, what is she gonna do? It seems something's been done to her, right? Mm -hmm. She's naked next to a pile of blood. Like, what does she do now? Is she gonna be I feel like she's maybe a vampire or a werewolf. And they, they... Where did you get that Because she's naked. But she did But maybe, like, someone just took all her clothes after they murdered someone. Like, where did the... I love that. I love, I love the, like, the look you gave me. Like, 
Where do you have the audacity to express such a profoundly do not stupid spoil notion? Spoil this trailer with werewolves and vampires. No, I'm just kidding. I, I, I was totally in a twilight. Yeah. No hate. Well, if you look at the camera angles, it speaks very much to the horror genre, right? With yeah. the cool police car shot and yeah. the building stuff and like the cape the, the cable lines and like You don't know it is. wherever the angle's going, like what are you gonna see? Like are you, when are you gonna see that reflection of them in the blood? You yeah. know, like you're waiting to actually see something. I love the camera work alone. Yeah. I mean, that alone has me intrigued. It's telling its own story with that. It's very creative and it's, I love really great camera work because it inspires me to like, and you know, stuff I want to steal for my own shit someday. <laughs> I just love this car, this shot of the police car. I think yeah, it's so it's cool. Yeah, it's really good. Um, and it's, and it's just one of the shots that I like throughout mm -hmm. this trailer. That one where it was like really close to the ceiling and kind of coming in with the wires and yeah, stuff. Like exactly. that was really cool. I've never really seen that been done before. Everyone looking up reminds me of something my ex-girlfriend used to say all the time. She would have these same jokes she would say all the time. And one of hers was, you know, why don't we, why don't we film you going out and just standing in the middle of the street and looking up? And then like maybe hire a couple people to do the same thing and then see how many people actually show up and look up and also. Just, <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, that's interesting. Yeah. I mean you could easily do that. Like there was I thought about doing something similar at Comic Con where I hire just maybe three or four people to stop me. Well, this is before my YouTube channel was big, right? There's three or four people to stop me and ask for my autograph and oh, photos. Oh, and people will be like, who then, are you? Yeah, exactly. And this whole line is formulated. It's like, <laughs> I don't know who he is, but he's obviously famous. Did that happen? Did you try it? No, I didn't do it. But it would oh my be, god, you yeah. should do it. Well, now people will probably like know who you are. Yeah, exactly. Well, in the states, I, I could still get away with an experiment like that. Not in India. <laughs> Wait, no, people are like people are like that though. Like they don't really care who you are. They're just like, oh, I met a famous person. Right. It could be no one. Yeah. It's a good social experiment. So that's what I was thinking about when everyone was looking up. I'm like, why is maybe one person just decided to look up and it's just I don't know. I don't think that's what it is. But then I kind of like expected like some sort of monster to like fall from the sky. That's what I'm saying. So it could be some kind of werewolf thing, like legit. You know, okay, you're right. You I'm know? sorry, I shouldn't have given you that look. I was like, <laughs> What did you get that idea, Jabby Kawai? Appalled, appalled. You've only been dissecting trailers for three and a half years. <laughs> what do you Four know? Four years. <laughs> I really thought it was super interesting. I was just hooked. It's quite possible that it has nothing to do with anything supernatural like that, it's quite possible that she was taken advantage of. Someone left her there yeah. to humiliate her. Also, doesn't this look like it's kind of Walking Dead-ish? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, like, it's like an empty work building. Like, where did everyone go? Were they abducted by aliens? And then she was left behind? <clears throat> Yeah, that's possible. That's ha that happened in uh, Fire in the Sky. There was a movie about a guy who got abducted. Supposedly a true story. I don't think it's true. But like, I watched that movie because I was super into aliens as a kid. That movie spends so little time on the alien aspect of things. It pissed me off. Most of the film is this court case about where'd your friend go? You know? And it's like, what about the aliens? Yeah. No, and, I get you. And so he comes back and he's totally like butt naked in the rain. And he has these flashbacks of being captured and being experimented on. It was an interesting, uh, that, that, was interesting. When does this come out? Did it say? Mm. It doesn't. It, okay. It doesn't. Say. I will be on the edge of my seat and, for yeah. it. Off of this teaser alone, I would want to watch this just because I like the creative camera angles and whatnot. The shot of the blood alone was like, that was whoa, so cool. that is new. That was so cool. I don't even know if blood is that reflective. But who it, knows? Yeah, but like, oh, it was so creative. Mm -hmm. Everything in this trailer was creative, and I hope that the. Uh, Actress here has a has a little um, what you call it on her hoo hoo <laughs> <laughs> to avoid getting dirty. <laughs> <laughs> on her <laughs> you, you know what I'm talking about? The little, uh, they, they give you a, I forgot what it's called. I actually, I actually don't know. I, I always wonder about these naked scenes. Well, in American films, they give you a thing. Okay. They give you a little thing to cover you up so that you're not completely naked. Yeah. So that you can do these scenes and it looks like you're naked, or, you know. But you're still it, you know. protected. Um, in Indian cinema, Right now, India is still more conservative in their cinema than we are. There was this comedy I saw, Virdi Wedding, I think is the name of the movie, and there's this scene, which is, just, is I'm about to give away a big spoiler, where this woman is having a whole orgasm because she's messing with a vibrator or something okay. like that. And like that scene was a lot for an Indian film, and I think it was controversial. Anything dealing with like nudity and stuff like that, I'm like, whoa, they're, they're actually doing that whenever I'm seeing it in Indian films and stuff. And so what I'm ultimately driving at is, this actress is quite brave to be doing this. Yeah. I think that uh, as long as it's speaking to a good story, I'm all for it. Same. As long as it's not like... Just there. Yeah, just there for, just to get, just to have some tits and ass, then, <laughs> th then I've got a problem. If it's there for the artistic, you know, licensing of the story, 
trying to find a way to phrase that better. You're on the right track. It's yeah. like if it's meant to be there, if the story can't be told without it, exactly, then yeah. it should absolutely be in there. Yeah, if it's warranted. And this kind of seems like it is. So. Yeah. Well, so far. So far. We don't know. This if is she's a teaser a... trailer. Oh my god, that's my. How dare you! I'm sorry. You know, alarms like never when you do the silence thing, and now it's frozen. Oh, that's the worst. Sorry. You're just like your head gets really hot. You feel sweaty. Do I smell now? I'm just trying to shut my phone off. Okay. Sweaty pits. No, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, yeah, this was a very, very compelling teaser, and uh, I almost don't want to watch the trailer, but I'm going to. Bed cutriya, bed cutringla, bed cutriya. Orjan offer. Mudala bed cutra, mudala bed cutra. Adi bod aito. Mama ella ro enna. Porakum bodu dress orava parando. So. Whoa, this is not what I was expecting. That, that seemed like totally, completely totally, different yeah, yeah. movies. I'm so confused. It doesn't answer the question why she was naked in the building necessarily. No. Unless her friends just abandoned her when everyone, but there was blood that wasn't really answered necessarily, but unless her friends murdered someone and then bailed and left her there. Not from the director of Maya. That's an interesting way to uh, advertise the film. It has a very, uh, What's her name? Harley Quinn. Yeah, has, has I was literally Harley... thinking this is like Suicide Squad. Well, Harley Quinn is her own, yeah, yeah. Her own comic book line. And I started reading one of her comic books and I had to stop because I started to get wigged out. It was breaking the fourth wall a lot like Deadpool. I'm going to go back and read it at some point, but it feels like this is heavily inspired by that sort of anarchistic thing. You know, you got this group of hooligans who are rebelling against the norm. It's interesting because what you're going to have in the film is them questioning a lot of the things we take for granted in society, mm -hmm. a lot of the norms and challenging all those ideas. And they're also trying to create anarchy in an effort to overthrow the system, sort of like Fight Club. The zombie thing was like, what? Okay, so this is all just costumes, is what I understand. The idea is to like kind of freak you out, almost like a person with tattoos on their face. Yes. You know, as a, as, as a means of like kind of just being striking. Yeah, you that know? shock value. Yes. This feels tonally like a totally different film from the teaser. I'm wondering if they're splitting the difference. This is sending one message and the other is sending a different message. And I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm sure we're gonna get some, somewhere in between. It's, yes. it's, it's not gonna be like this uh, the whole way the whole through. Way through to know? me, it's like, this was like beginning, middle, and then what we saw in the teaser is the aftermath of what her purpose was, mm -hmm. which was to basically be like, let's forget our dress and just live in our bir birthday suit, right? That idea of like, let's let go of everything that we've ever known or grown up to be and be our true self. And what does that, what will that get us? Yeah. And it looks like it got us some really creepy shots <laughs> in yeah. some zombie apocalypse type of looking situation and then you're naked and you look really terrified. I feel like the teaser trailer answered what this trailer was. That being said, separately, I think they both look like intriguing films. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't seem like the same film, so I'm just interested to see like how that actually will come together. I don't yeah. know. I think I was so shocked watching this just because I was expecting something completely different, but yeah. taking out what I had initially thought from watching the teaser, like this still looked good, you know? It still looked like an exciting film. Again, it's kind of like what we've been talking about with reviewing all these other trailers. It's like just, going against what you've thought to be true your entire life, which is something that everyone goes through at some point in their lives, which mm -hmm. is very interesting. One thing I'm wondering about is this: is the pacing, because this trailer indicates that it's gonna be a fast-paced film, things are moving crazy, and you know, they're talking, getting high, drinking, or whatever, being edgy, and creating chaos here and there, and it's, and it's just like this high-velocity film. Yeah. But the other one spoke to a more slower-paced... Totally. You know, slow burn. I, I really appreciated that, like, this kind of creepy, unsettling, almost like, uh, what's the film... There's a film company that does all the horror movies right now. Blumhouse. Yes. It felt almost like a Blumhouse film in a way where it's, like, kind of low-budget, 
but it doesn't feel low budget. Mm -hmm. It feels like high concept, but in a very controlled environment that's slow and like it's getting under your skin because it's slow. Mm -hmm. And you, you don't know what's gonna happen. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so we still don't exactly know what's gonna happen. This could be like mm. the first 20 minutes of the film and then like shit hits the fan immediately and then it's back to the, the oh, teaser. Oh, gotcha, yeah. Or it could be like this is like the majority of the film and then that last bit is what we saw. I don't know. I, yeah. I kind of hope that this is just like a little bit, like she tries it and then it goes really wrong and then we're trying to figure out what's happening at the end. Your 20 minutes is gonna be their hour, right? So the yeah. first hour, <laughs> hour and a half, and then you've got your interval, and then the other hour and a half, and then it's the other film. Mm -hmm. I think that would be how it would go if it's a three hour movie, which it's possible it is. I hope that's what it is. I hope that they Hitchcock you and or Psycho you. Yeah. You know, because if you've, have you seen Psycho? You know about Psycho, right? I know about Psycho, Okay, yeah. so like after the first 20 minutes, you have a different main character because um, for those of you who haven't seen it, I don't want to ruin it too much, but like I sort of just no did. No spoilers. Yeah, um, and I'm wondering if that kind of thing's gonna happen where she just completely loses her crew. Everything's turned topsy-turvy for her. Mm -hmm. That would be a very interesting way to go. The poster here, <laughs> it's so like, it's this is not the poster I, I would have expected at all based off not. the teaser. At all. Because I'm like thinking, oh, this is a girl who's like a werewolf or something and she's trying to figure herself out. It's something supernatural. And then the zombies showed up, or at least the costume. I, <laughs> yeah. I like I wasn't sure if it was actual zombies or or whatever. Anyway, yeah. This was fun, nevertheless. It was. I feel like I was just on a roller coaster. <laughs> like I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> that was exciting. Um, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Uh be sure to check out Natasha Martinez on the social media. Uh, the jabs, if you feel like watching me do some flips. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell icon to get notified every time we drop another video. Check out our other reactions, reviews, short films, and vlogs. I'm Javi Koy. This is Natasha Martinez. Peace out.